let's search for visits counter and here we are going to look for page visits counter light install now and uh, activate uh, I'm going to open incognito uh, browser window uh, I'm using Google Chrome Ctrl shift plus n button uh, uh, I'm using incognito window so I am uh, logged out and uh, now uh, I'm going to hit F12 button on my keyboard to open uh, dev tools you will uh, see elements tab first here then switch to uh, console tab and I'm going uh, to search for a message but I am not seeing the message uh, that means that I need to clear the cache memory and now let's uh, look at uh, the uh, front end page again a refresh it is logged out and now I can see the message I was looking for uh, it is this one JavaScript status okay PHP status okay this means that plugin is successfully installed uh, besides uh, those two messages we have additional messages here uh, page name those are info messages static home page total page visits one and total website visits one this can come in handy when uh, you are browsing your website and you are not logged in uh, if you wish to see how many visits uh, that page ha have you can just hit f12 on your keyboard and uh, switch to console console tab and uh, scroll down until you see this total page visits interesting thing with this is if you refresh the page then uh, total page visits is still one it doesn't count uh, page refresh or reload uh, while uh, total website visits is counting that uh, so this is it uh, let's visit the backend uh, admin dashboard and here we have a widget here it is static home page we have visited static home page so here it is here we can see uh, the page report it has one visit uh, let's visit a few more uh, pages just to have a few more page reports here so let's go back to the uh, backend and uh, refresh the page and now we have a uh, few more page reports here uh, those page reports uh, we can see uh, each page has uh, one visit if we sum those visits one two three four five we can see total page visits without reloads it has five visits and on the right side uh, total independent loads and reloads has six this is a website visits it doesn't have absolutely nothing to do with everything else in this widget and you can uh, update the number up or down uh, as you like from where you want to start measuring uh, further we have a quick reset button here uh, which will open reset menu uh, reset all button will reset all of uh, these page reports here and total page visits page types uh, are going to be built uh, automatically and you will have uh, more buttons than uh, just this one here so i'm not going to reset anything yet i'm just demonstrating uh, information tab in uh, green text you can read uh, what is going to be counted in red text text in red uh, is going to explain is explaining what is not going to be counted a page visit is not going to be counted if page is refreshed and here is information please flush the cache memory on all places as described in plugin installation instructions so this info tab uh, if you have uh, many pages then uh, sorting A to Z or Z to A can come handy uh, also you have a search option when you start uh, typing 
we have for example a website no we don't have a website we have members members uh, as you type it automatically filters out the page reports uh, then uh, you can select for example select all the select all select by page type or select individually and you can uh, switch uh, these page reports if you don't uh, want to see them in this in this visible list you can switch them to the hidden list and you need to confirm here yes and they are moved to the uh, hidden list if you wish to see the hidden list you should click on this icon here and hidden list is displayed uh, nothing special you can uh, switch back to confirm and those reports are back moved back to the visible list there is uh, currently nothing in the hidden list so let's switch everything is here besides switching uh, you can uh, reset uh, page reports to zero or you can uh, delete page reports like this every time you need to confirm uh, your uh, decisions uh, so uh, let's move forward uh, in info tab at the bottom you have a settings button which uh, is going to um, bring you to the uh, settings page with additional documentation uh, so in settings page if you wish to keep uh, the data after plugin is deleted uh, you can mark this one and save it or uncheck and save it so uh, in this case uh, your data are going to be deleted and uh, all data uh, that uh, plugin brings to the table are going to be uh, deleted and besides that you have documentation screenshot installation debugging explanation frequently asked questions and a little bit about thank you for watching goodbye